What's up everyone, it's Chandon Jonah, Theistic Satanist, Spiritual Activist, Hereditary Witch, and today I'm answering a viewer question um, sent to me in an email, and the question was, what experience or safeguards would you recommend to someone who is a novice and or not a medium to protect them when calling on a spirit from the tree of death? Also talking about demons and darker spirits like what I talk about and what I work with. Um, this is a very good question. Um, I am surprised that not many other people have asked this question. Um, it's very important. So, I didn't do any protection, so I would listen to me when I talk to you about this. Um, you do need protection, okay? If not from the demons themselves and their super high energy and super potent energy and super, like, in-your-face energy, a along with protecting you from that when you're not used to that, you also need protection from, from what's attracted to them, the, the smaller spirits that like to come to them and what's attracted to that type of ritual, be it about demons or any other spirit. You need to know how to protect yourself from that. So there's a couple different things. First of all, work on opening your psychic power center. I have some exercises and a video about that down below. Um, there's a link to that. Um, I have a whole playlist. And also work on your energy body, making sure that you can feel when things are around you or you can know whether whatever your psychic sense is that is the strongest, work on that, make it better. No matter what level you're at, it's not good enough. Um, and you need to think about it that way because if you think that it's good enough, you won't continue to grow. So always remember that there's always room to grow and keep that in mind every time that you are thinking about going into a ritual summoning one of these spirits. You always want to um, do some sort of warding. So if you have giant crystals, that's fucking awesome. Put them in the corners of the room. Put them in the corners of your yard and your room. That would make it even better. Um, but if you don't have that, that's totally fine. Use some Palo Santo to cleanse the area, and Palo Santo really kind of protects the area as well. Kind of adds in the positive energy, gets the vibes going. Um, also, calling in the um, spirit guides that you have. Even if you don't know who they are, calling them, they will come to you. They will protect you. They will do what you need them to do. Um, I wouldn't call on angels simply because... Uh, they don't even come to me when I call them. They don't like me for some reason. Um, but also because they don't like these spirits. Um, be them fallen angels or be them ancient gods. It doesn't matter. They still don't like each other. So I would not summon angels, even if it's Lucifer. Okay, don't summon angels. It's the worst thing that you could possibly do because you could have a whole fucking war going on in your room. Okay, or in your house. And if you have children, I would suggest going somewhere else. Don't do it in the house. Do it, like, in the woods or something. Go to a park. Go to your backyard. If that's as far as you can go, like, go somewhere else. Don't do it in the house. And make sure that if you are in your backyard and you're super close to your house, make sure that you ward your house. Protect your house before you do the ritual outside. And after you do the ritual, make sure you banish everything from your yard, okay? Make sure you banish all of the energies. Do not try to banish the spirit that you summoned because that will not go over well. It will be a bad thing for you to do. Don't do that. Don't fucking do that. That is like, number one, don't banish them. That will piss them off. You ask them, or you say something like this. This is something that I used to say. Um, stay if you will, leave if you must, it is done. You know, that, that is enough. They will leave if they understand that, which they will. If you have a situation where you have kids at home and you need to get all the energies gone because their energy staying there would attract more parasites, they will understand that and they will leave. Okay. So you, you got to do something like that. Don't banish them. Don't try to kick them out. They won't go anywhere, and they'll just make your life a living hell. 
okay, um, pun intended, and when you're done with the ritual and you've banished everything, then you want to add in positive energy. So it is going to be a lot of work for you to do something like this close to children or close to where children reside. I wouldn't do it in the backyard if the children are there. I would wait until the children are at school or, you know, at grandma's house or something like that. I would not do it when they are there. Um, because children are very, uh, susceptible and, they can overpower your wards, and if they think that a spirit isn't a friend, they will invite them in even though they're a parasite, and then they will get fed off of, and they won't know what's going on, you won't know what's going on, it'll be a terrible situation, so you don't want to have that happen. Um, some exercises that you can do uh, to prepare yourself are listen to creepy ass music that really scares the shit out of you. Look at pictures that scare the fuck out of you, okay? Watch scary ass movies that really get you like anxious, all right? And ask yourself, what are you going to do? What's the plan if something like that happens to you? What's the plan if something scary like that comes through the portal? What are you going to do? If you don't have a plan, I suggest that you don't, don't do the ritual, especially in an area close to where children live. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do. Um, I'm sure that you are magically inclined, so I don't have to tell you exercises to gain magical power because you already know how to, you know, work on your focus. You already know how to work with energy and things like that. Um, now wards, I, I mentioned warding before you need to ward the room that you're in, then ward the house that you're in and then ward the yard around the house. Okay. So you have three wards going on. Then you also add protection by having a circle around you. Okay. So what is in the circle is the magical energy that the energy is built up and built up and it stays in that area and um, nothing is allowed in there except for you and the demon that you're summoning okay and an added protection to all of that is um, calling your spirit guides so they stand around the circle making sure that nothing can come in they empower the circle okay and they also empower your wards believe it or not um, and you can also um, if you have servitors, creating servitors is a great thing to do for protection because when you're doing work like this, this is something that I do that's a secret that I don't really share, but it's too late now. I shared it. Um, I create servitors and I house them in something like this. Um, this is just a kid's toy. But it is a house of a servitor. There's not a servitor in this one yet. But there will be someday. And um, this is a great one for protection. Because lions are vicious. And they will protect you. So get, get something like that. Get a stuffed animal. Or get a rock. And envision what a servitor would look like. And create it. And put it into that crystal. And when you are doing demonic work. That's when you call on those servitors and however many you make, the more protection that you have. Um, if you've worked with deities before, um, I would call on them and ask them for protection. If you do research and make sure that they don't have any resentment towards any of the spirit that you're summoning. Um, make, make sure of that before you just invite your spirits because again, you don't want a war going on in your household. Um, if you're doing it outside, I would ward at least three times. Um, you know, a small ward around you and your circle that encompasses your spirit guides, and then another ward that encompasses the, the line, the front lines, basically, of your servitors, and then the third ward, which is the overall huge area that you're in, making sure that you're protected and everything's good. And if you have deities working for you, they will be on the front lines. Next up is, well, no... The servitors will be on the front lines. Next up is your deities, and then next up is your spirit guides, and then it is your circle, and then it is you. 
Okay, so you have lots and lots of protection there. Um, that's a lot of ideas and exercises for you to use. Um, after you do these rituals and you close everything, you banish everything, you want to ground your energy. Okay, if you don't ground your energy, either you'll stay up all night, you'll get insomnia, you'll, you'll have a lot of different problems. Maybe your thoughts will go running crazy miles per hour or the opposite. You won't be able to think, you won't be able to do math. Um, so you want to put your hands in the earth or put your hands on some wood. Um, like if you have an altar to these beings or if you have a rock that you give to these beings or if you have a candle that you use to give to these beings, you know, hold it, put your energy into it. Okay, ground yourself, put your energy there. Um, if you're going to put it into something, then you still want to go outside and hug a tree. Let the tree and its energy come into you and let your energy go into it and you can ground yourself that way. That way you don't have any of that residue energy. So other spirits that are smaller or parasites, they won't be attracted to you anymore because you don't have that energy anymore. And you also are more grounded. So you're more focused. You're able to think right. You're able to have your emotions right and all of that good stuff. So I hope that this answered some of your questions. Um, and if you have any more questions or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below um, or shoot me an email if you want some spell work or ritual work done, divination, etc., etc. And follow me on all my social media and you can message me there as well. So peace, power and growth unto all of you. Horns up. Hail Satan.